Right, hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be continuing our Arduino adventure. We're going to be stepping it up a little bit and adding a few more LEDs. What we'll be recreating is something that we see in our everyday lives on the streets. That sounds a bit odd, but anyway, it's a traffic light system and we're going to be doing that on our breadboard. It should be a pretty straightforward but practical project because it'll teach us to control multiple outputs using simple logic code. What we'll also do is we'll throw in a button so we control when the light changes. So let's jump right into it and see how it goes. Right, so what we're going to start by doing is we are going to search for a traffic light using Arduino. This is going to come up. Uh, as you can see, it's a beginner project, so nice and easy. These are the components that we're going to need. Now there's a nice little description here on the, on the whole project and a couple of photos that you can go through if you'd like to. What we're going to do though is we are going to copy this code, um, head over to the IDE and paste. And now we can actually move on to building the circuit ourselves because as you can see here it shows us what to do, how to connect things up, the different pins that things are meant to connect to. Does it zoom in? No, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to build it and see if we can make it work. So just a reminder that when you're dealing with an LED, I hope this is focusing, when you are dealing with the LED, you've got one longer leg and one short leg, and the longer leg is the one that you want uh, the current flowing into. So I'm just going to bend it so that they are similar sort of length when we plug it in I haven't done a great job here but that's fine and then we're going to do the same for the green led the jumper wires that are coming from the signal output pins on the breadboard they plug into or they go onto the long leg just ju just remember that note to keep track of and then we've just got connections to ground to make okay now let's see if this works Wow, that, that green LED is rubbish. Let's try another one. Okay, seems like all of the green LEDs in this kit are rubbish, but at least we can see that it works. So if you just take a closer look, you can see it's not the most advanced wiring. What I'm going to quickly do though is I'm going to head over to ChatGPT, ask it for some code on this circuit with a button so that we can actually control when the lights change and then I'm going to wire that up and show you that code as well. Now what we're going to do is we are going to head over to the IDE. I've already got the code saved, I will link it down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open. As you can see here, we have got the code from the stoplight. Um, there are a couple of different sites where you can get this from, including the Arduino site. I got this from ChatGPT. Um, yeah, so it's, by the looks of it, not a huge amount of code. What we're going to do now is we are going to upload it. And that's sorted. Now we can move on to building the circuit. This circuit is going to allow us to control uh, when the lights change color. And I got the code and the circuit from ChatGPT. It's actually very useful, I must say. I know some people do have quite an aversion to it and I can understand it to a certain extent, but I think it's amazing that you can Tell it, look, 
this is the project that I'm wanting to do. Uh, can you help me out with the code? And it'll do so. Or I'm running into these problems with um, some of my LEDs not working or whatever it may be. And it'll offer suggestions or uh, other alternatives. And yeah, I think it's actually, <laughs> it's amazing. So this one also uses resistors. And as you can see there, we've got the button. Now, this should hopefully work. So, fingers crossed. And let's give it a go. Okay. Let's give this a go. The pin isn't connected to anything. Okay, let me actually read this properly. Oh my gosh, I am very, very stupid. But that's okay. It's... See, hopefully this works this time. Oh, okay, so we got red. Now oh, let's... And we don't have anything else. Don't understand. Why is this happening now? I don't, I'm, I'm very confused. So if we plug it into the other one, oh. uh, it does help if you actually read the instructions properly. The thing that it was missing was just this um, 10 kilo ohm resistor and I have moved these wires around a bit because I'm sometimes a bit unsure about the legs of the buttons because they're four and I don't know how they all work together. But if we click, you can see there, we have a working traffic light type idea. Isn't that cool? The problem that I encountered with the circuit not working the way I wanted to was, as I said, just because of the resistor. And it's because this uh, 10K ohm resistor here is it focusing? Kind of. It acts as what is called as a pull down resistor. And basically it ensures that the button reading is stable. And then the Arduino knows what you are telling it to do based on the button pushes. And it is able to give a reliable output where it wasn't beforehand because the readings weren't stable. Simple fix. I needed to read the instructions properly. I didn't first time around. So not a big thing but we got it sorted. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for coming along for the ride, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.